Hey everyone, it's Mike Lesser, Artistic Director of the Playground Experiment, and here we are at the end of 2021, and we are so thankful uh, that we are able to say thank you to you for being a part of the Playground Experiment for as long as you have been a part of the Playground Experiment. Whether you have done one event with us, have whether you showed up and watched someone's event and you're watching this video for the first time, or whether you have been with us since way in the beginning in 2015 when we decided in a coffee shop to bring in 15 minutes of work and see what happens. Um, we thank you for uh, believing in our mission and our, our goal of trying to create a home for artists uh, to be able to play and to be able to find what their art is and connect with each other as humans and as artists. So thank you so much for being a part of any part that you've played in the Playground Experiments growth to where we are. Uh, I did want to send create this little short video, and it's probably going to be a little bit longer than short, uh, just to kind of let, let you know what's going on a little bit. Uh, we are super thankful for Sandra Karras and... Uh, um, Ollie Fielding and Melissa O'Connell who helped us get our 501c3. We are officially a 501c3 now. Um, it took us six years to get there, but we are officially there. The paperwork is in. The, 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 the IRS knows who we are. Uh, so we are thankful for that process. Uh, so yay, that's something we've been working on. It was one of our goals. We hit it and we are working on other amazing things. Um, as a company, in terms of what we've done, we have done 156 Yes, 156 volumes, uh, which is our flagship program where those writers bring in that 15 minutes of messy work and it is read by brilliant actors. Uh, we've had over 270 uh, writers participate at some point in the Playground Experiment and over 700 actors have participated. How crazy is that? I mean, and again, even if you've done one event, with us at one point in these six years you are part of our pge family and you could always come back home and play whenever you need us that's the type of home we are we're not the home where you need to be at all the time but whenever you need to meet with other artists or just hone some skills or just feel like you're just playing again that's the playground experiment so we want to just let you know some of those crazy things that have happened um in this year we have our voices of america writers workshop which has had a huge success. We've done eight workshops this year. We did two, so thank you to the amazing David Davila uh, for helping to create this program, this Writer's Workshop, and for all of the artists who have come through that program and are now a part of the PGE family and are now writers. A lot of them were not writers before, but now we all consider, they consider themselves and we consider them amazing, brilliant writers. So we're super happy to see where their journey as writers go. Um, and to all the actors that have participated in all of that programming. Um, and our required reading first reads have gone continuously in all of this weird two-year process where we went virtual. Um, and now we've done officially 17 required reading first reads. Uh, for those of you that are new to our required reading first reads, that's where writers have about 30 days to go from a first draft to a second draft. And we push them um, with some programming and some feedback and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and we're going to do more of them next year. So that's kind of exciting. Our Dropping Me Tens, which is our, we always use it as a fundraiser, but it's more of a fun raiser. Uh, and it's really our way where writers get some prompts and some actors to write for, and the actors get plays written for them. And it's a way to get writers to write something that they probably wouldn't have written before, and maybe create something that's new and exciting for them as an artist. Uh, we've done, we did four of them this year. We're looking to do more of them again next year. Um, and thank you to the people that helped create them. We have Aaron Mohan and Mernalini Kamath and Matthew Menendez, Catherine Overfeld, all helped with those this year. So thank you to them. Um, this year, we also had some other exciting things happen. We created, towards the, middle of, towards the middle of the end of the year, we created the Literary Advisory Council. And for those of you that don't know what a, a Literary Advisory Council is, we don't either. No, we created, we brought in 10 amazing artists to literally give us feedback throughout the year. Ask, I, we would ask questions of them like, what should we do? What are your thoughts? Whatever. So we wanted just to give a huge shout out to all of them. That I'm going to shout out their names really quickly, but you can find more information about them. I'm moving this away so I can actually see my computer line. We have David Davila, Eric Mead, Aaron Mohan, Jonathan Kalindas, Kendra Augustin, Kirsten Hopkins, Kate Goldstein-Grant, Mac Raymond, 
Renal Nikamath and Noemi De La Puente. All of them are amazing, amazing artists in their own right. Um, but for us, what they've done is they've given us some feedback um, and helped us kind of push ourselves and go outside of our comfort zone and change things that need to be changed and add things that need to be added. And they're going to do a lot more in the 2022 uh, year. Um, but we're super happy to have them on board with information and knowledge because as a company, that's how we grow. That's how we push. Um, other things that I wanted just to talk about, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that you know sent that little venmo or sent that little donation uh we were so so thankful we have a couple of uh heavy hitter donors that we really want to say a you know big shout out for so thank you guys any for those of you um uh and we'll you've uh, know who you are um thank you to the lower manhattan council for the arts um no I said that wrong. Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, uh, who helped us uh, give us a, uh, a wonderful grant this year. So thankful, thank you to them. Um, thank you to Art New York. Thank you to Espa and Sarah Matucci, who has always given us such support and helped us with our artists. We have New Play Exchange. If you have not checked out New Play Exchange, they've been a great supporter of uh, getting uh, artists to us. Uh, so there's so many things to thank, be thankful for in 2021, uh, and I want to take this moment, I know this is now like a six minute video, but be thankful that you have artists around you and people around you that are supportive. And even if it's for that one moment where someone says, that was really great, that's sometimes all you need to know that you should just keep going and should always keep going as an artist. So we want to just take a little moment. I'm sure there's stuff I forgot um, in this video. Oh, a huge thank you. I, I did remember uh, to Chelsea Shannon, who is our uh, grant writer who helped us get the grant for the Lower Manhattan Council. Uh, so, uh, so many things to be thankful for this year. Um, more thankful for the art that we've created, but for the community that we keep continuing to build. So thank you all so much for being a part of the Playground Experiment. Uh, we look forward to amazing things coming in 2022. Uh, we hope that you are a part of it. And um, if for some reason any of this sounds exciting or interesting to you, um, and this isn't really, I, if you would like to donate to us at some point, you know where our donate button is. It's always on our website. Feel free to check it out. Uh, if you can't donate and you just want to show up and watch something or like our, our YouTube channel or something, that's cool too. Because uh, supporting artists comes in many ways, shapes, and forms. Um, so... Thank you for being a part of the Playground Experiment. Thank you for watching this really long video. Um, and have a wonderful, wonderful 2022. Because it's going to be... I was going to say something bad, but it's going to be pretty good. I, I, I feel it. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.